Welcome to the video, my triathlon journey. So, it's a little bit noisy. You can see I'm fixing across uh, Highway 92, and it's probably about 90 degrees. I got my water, so probably about a little over an hour run today. About probably over eight miles, I would think. So, here we go. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's see what happens. We're in Lake Parker Park, right on the lake. Oh, almost forgot you guys. So we're almost done with the lake. Then we're gonna head out on stretch on 33. And you can see the drip from my hat. It's probably 95 degrees, that's all sweat. So, I would say, I wanna go and do a technical tip real quick while I'm thinking about it before I forget. Try to run on concrete versus pavement, and I will jump down here and show you what I mean. So the one here to the left is the concrete pad, and this is black pavement. The black pavement is very, very hot. The concrete is about five to 10 degrees cooler. So low heat on your feet means cool feet for a run. And then the hat, any visor, wear a visor, that'll keep you cool and keep the sweat out of your eyes, most important. And always remember, carry a water bottle because you can always get that little cool down on your head and down your throat. So. Wow, let me tell you about this run. Man, it was probably 95 degrees and I don't know, 105 with the humidity. I was soaked. As you can see, I had to jump in my pool and cool off because I don't think a cold shower would do it. I'm still, I'm in a pool. The pool's probably 79 degrees and look at my, I'm still sweating. So. I'm going to get some Gatorade and get some, you know, electrolytes in me to see if that helps out. The sun's still blazing. There's clouds in the sky. I just, I don't understand it. But, back to the, back to the topic uh, at hand would be running. And it went, it went fantastic. I can't even deny it. It seems like... Well, a lot of the course was in the shade, but when, was, when it wasn't in the shade, I had an overcast, and it was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I loved it. Let me just send this text real quick. So, man, I kept anywhere from a nine minute pace, to 11 minute pace the first I'd say the first four miles was a nine minute pace and then the last four to five miles was 10 10 and a half 11 minute pace but when it's hot like that man it just it's really hard to you know carry your pace so I would say for you triathletes out there stay hydrated you know, when it's super hot, the humidity is really high, try to run in the shade because that's going to increase your performance. So, like, even though I feel great, my Garmin watch is like three days till recovery. I'll be fine tomorrow. It's just because of the heat index, the pace, your heart rate's higher in the heat. So, a lot of stuff you have to consider. If you run when it's cooler, your heart, your heart rate is going to be lower and your pace is going to be faster. So what I always tell people is 
don't beat yourself up over a, a run because uh, the elements have a lot to do with it. It's not that you suck. It's just I blame it on the elements. Like blame it on the rain. I blame it on the elements. That's the only thing you can do. So I feel like it was a really, really good day. So I'm going to celebrate with some cold pool water. So that's my celebration. And probably some Gatorade. I like the uh, lemon lime. That's my favorite. So tomorrow is going to be a splendid bike ride on a Monday. I got a funny feeling I'm going to come home and do the trail and back. I enjoy the lake on my triathlon bike, but man, that, that headwind is just something to cry about. So, I don't know. I, I enjoy a little bit of a headwind, but not the whole stinking ride. So, that wraps up this video. Remember, hashtag, we get to do this. And be safe. And happy, happy Sunday. I will see you guys on Monday in the next video. Thank you for watching.